Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Today I have another creating something on a canvas type project for you. I have a bunch of craft papers here I want to start using up. I want to play again with colors and mediums. So the process will be rather simple. I want to get this done this afternoon so I can get this video ready for you. I use my Mod Podge to glue all this down and a credit card works really well to make sure everything is stuck without uh, bubbles. Now, before I go on, I want to give a thank you to all of you who checked up on me because of the blizzard we had here in Colorado. It was all over the news. And yes, we had a big snowfall and we were homebound for a few days, but the power never went out. So we were safe and cozy. But I appreciate your concern. In the meantime, most of the snow has melted and spring is trying hard to come to Colorado. Now, I really do hope that any one of you who had been caught in these winter storms we had this year here in the States have recovered and all is well. All right, back to my project here. By laying down these papers, I got a bit of a background color to start with, created some texture. And honestly, at this point, I didn't have a concrete plan, except that I wanted to do somewhat of a collage. So all the steps I will be taking are easy to follow. Like always, I will put all my mediums or anything else you may need explaining in the captions. And I hope you will enjoy the process. Enjoy some music and I will talk to you towards the end.
So my mixed media collage is done. As you saw, I added the black edging just to give it somewhat of a simple frame. I also sealed everything because I worked with water soluble materials like the black stabilo and the gelatos in the background. So they need protecting. And if you add your sealer over any water soluble mediums carefully, you can avoid uh, smudges. Now the background is nice and faded. You can see the face peeking through and all the designs that came with the tissue paper plus the colors from the first layer. Now the tissue paper had some music notes, it had some geometrical designs as a moth, there is some script, there's a fish and so on and it gave the background some nice interest. Now if you don't have that type of tissue paper you can absolutely make your own. I used to use parchment paper, <clears throat> they also call it onion paper. It's the type we used to use for carbon copies and if you stamp on this with your archival ink you can create some real fun papers. And having these type of see-through papers combined with other collage elements really helps to bring some interest into your collages. <clears throat> For today I went the easy and the quicker route and just took that big piece. Now for the painting I added the vase here right above a piece of paper added in the beginning so it has nice texture right at the edges. And for the flowers they have that nice brightness and interesting design that is more easily to be found in magazines than in craft papers. So whenever you look for fun things in your stash of magazines, don't only look for images, also look for fun colors and designs. I like the way the flowers came out, very abstract, very simple of course, and the glossy sealer gave back the brightness that the magazine pages had to start with. A few little uh, splatters on the top, and one lost leaf here on the bottom and then of course I give it a little base so my uh, vase wouldn't uh, float in mid-air. So that's pretty much it. It's a simple project. I really enjoyed doing it. I hope you liked it and I hope you come and see me soon again. I will be back next week. Bye bye for now.